always gravitated towards social justice issues, issues around race, disparity. You know, I had met, came across someone who had just completed her degree at the George Warren Brown School of Social Work. She was doing amazing work that I just simply never heard of. And so as a result, I, I did my investigation and I applied to the Brown School and fortunately received my acceptance. And, you know, that was my pathway to a social work degree the community development coursework, which really, you know, in some ways set me on my path to where I am today, which is, you know, I've devoted and committed my career to community transformation and, and community engagement. And so those courses in graduate school really left a mark. During my time at George Warren Brown, that really set up the opportunity for me to meet the individual that set me on the path to where I am today. That community development experience in Forest Park Southeast was absolutely transformative for me. When I started out, I started out really as, it, as a community organizer. From there, have transitioned to a number of different roles inside the organization. And then at the beginning of 2017, assumed the leadership role. And so, you know, during, during my time, um, you know, between the practicum at Brown School and my career, it was almost a seamless transition because of the type of work that I was doing. And from my experience in my practicum and, and then my work experience, what I found is my favorite part of the work um, is engaging with community. When I look at the last couple of years between the pandemic and the racial justice issues and you know challenges that I see children and families facing on the ground today, what we're doing and how we're doing it is is not cutting it. We we have to do something different. And and I think that in in the social work field we need to have um, you know, real honest conversations about what disrupting systems look like. I mean, I have such a strong connection to, to Washington University, to the Brown School. To, to get this award is just such a, a deep honor for me. And, and you know, it's my, it's my alma mater double. And so, to be recognized as sincerely. It's uh, a great moment in my career. I would like to thank my family. Uh, first and foremost, my husband, James. He was with me when I was going through the graduate program. So he, he knows the, the intensity. He, he knows what that was like. So I have such appreciation for him. And I wanna thank my parents who gave me every opportunity to, to be here and in this place. Um, I want to thank my board chair, Richard Barron, who gave me my first introduction and, and really my first opportunity to do this work. Um, he's such a visionary and, and being able to follow his vision, that is an honor. Um, and I want to thank my team, um, specifically Donovan Duncan, who's our executive vice president. These are individuals who have have done a lot. and. I absolutely want to thank my mentor and the former president of Urban Strategies, who's Sandra Moore. Um, she mentored me for over 17 years. I learned so much from her and wouldn't be in this position today uh, without her leadership.